Good morning, Jim Hodges here, Fanley here. Fanley is an eight-month-old GSP, German Short-Haired Pointer, came in for our residency training program. High, high energy, very affectionate, loves treats, and treats can be a wonderful way uh, to get him to enjoy his work and actually improve other aspects of training like the recall and things like that from away and off leash as we move later into life. Right now, we're more concerned with getting him to understand that there are boundaries, that he can't pull on the leash, and that he needs to focus a little bit more on owners. Me saying focusing GSP can be uh, contradictory at times, but we just want to improve that focus. We don't want to kill a spirit. We don't want to do anything like that. But when it's time to work, we want him to work and we want him to pay attention. I'm going to walk him through things. He was a heavy, heavy puller in the beginning. We're really good with walking right now. You're going to hear me reward him and you're going to see me give him treats from time to time. When I give him a treat, uh, watch what I do and how I do it. I believe play, praise is words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion, okay? We want to connect with him all of those senses if we can so that he gets a general sense of well-being and wants to connect with his leader or his owner. You ready, man? Let's go. Good boy. Get that ear right. Good boy. That's right. So let's go as we're walking on a leash. He walks with me. If he was to start to walk away, start to pull, go in one direction or another, good job. If he was to start to do one of the others, I would just tap the leash back to my side. I am not gonna pull it. When I pull it, I do the work for him. I'm gonna tap and make him use that brain and say, okay, what does dad want now? And then he comes back in. When we bite, we tap the leash. When he gets it right, we come back with mild praise to let him know he has made the right decision. Let's go. So let's go. When I stop, it's not, if he wants to sit, he can sit. If he doesn't, fine. I just don't want him pulling on a leash. When we meet someone out in public, we're here, let's go, we stop, he's right here. I don't care if he sits or down, I want him to be right here and not pull the leash. Ever, ever pull the leash again, unless he's doing some sort of work object that you want him to do. Let's go. Sit, hand signal for sit, good boy. Sit means sit. If he didn't sit then, or if he got up from the sit, I would tap the leash straight up and tell him, no, sit. Again, the tap, the consequence, touch is so important, okay? Uh, dogs live in that physical world. Look at a litter, look at dogs playing together, look at mom with pup, that's so important, okay? So we're not here to intimidate or dominate, we only go to the level we need and we always start very lightly. When he does it, fine, our job is not to have to bite, it's to be able to move off leash at some point in time. So now I'm gonna break, good boy. Break is a release from the command. You notice he held that sit while I asked him to. When I broke him, that told him he could get up. If you noticed and go back, I stepped back when I broke him. The reason I did that is to teach him to want to always come to me. That's gonna work off leash one day. That's gonna help with the recall command. And you notice I hope he was happy. I'm pretty sure he was wagging his tail and was real happy when he comes. Because in the beginning, I actually would give him a treat for that. Now I don't give him treats for a break so much. I still give him love and positive emotion uh, and the good words. Let's go. Okay. So we're going to come back and do the SIT again. I have cat here, squirrels there. I don't know if you can hear them or see them. Sit. Good boy. And now he's checking out the cat, which is okay. Damn. I want him to have to listen when I tell him to, even if there are distractions. Good boy. So down means down. When I ask him to down, he needs to down. If he was to pop up because the kitty cat there or for any reason, here's his head, no, down, then good boy. Not great boy, but good boy, okay? That's very good, man. <laughs> good. So he holds that down. Just for the word down, he holds the down. If I told him S-T-A-Y, stay. Now I told him to pack his bags for a while. He could roll on his side, he could chew a bone, he could smell the ground, he couldn't pick up a rock or anything we don't want him to pick up, but he can relax a little more and dial me out, okay? Down in normal training is down, wait for the next command. Down stay is important for him to understand he can cool it. I do that with dogs, I like to down stay. I want dogs to have to stay in a place for a long time. What's a long time? five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. It asserts who we are as leaders, okay? If he was to get up, 
from the down or the down stay, I would get him, bring him right back to the original place. I'd go, no, 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 down, stay, and I'd immediately go back to doing what I was doing. When I'm ready for him to stop, I would break. That a boy, good boy. So this was the hand signal from the side. Let's go. Sit. From in front, down. Good boy. He wants to run that nose down on the ground. If he did, I would tap it, okay? Good, sit. Good, let's go. The cat, I think, is getting ready to come into the picture because he certainly sees him in the picture. But again, that's okay. We're going to run into distractions in life. The important thing is for him to understand what's going on. Gosh, he can't help it, okay? But he can listen to what we ask him to do. So we have down from in front, down from the side. If he doesn't do it, we're going to tap towards the ground. We have sit, we, and he's not in the sit right now. He may think he is, but he's not. We have sit. If he sits, we're fine. If he gets up or doesn't hold it, we tap the leash. One of the other things about sit is I don't keep him in a sit for a long, long time. Uh, 15 seconds, 30 seconds a minute. I just believe it puts a little bit of pressure. You get some dogs that are just crazy about sit, then they can stay in a sit in a long, long time. It's really a matter of what he wants to do. I just don't want to put that on him. Let's go. Okay. So uh, you saw the break command. Break is like this. He comes to me. I pet him and love him. When I'm starting a break or even the come command, I'm going to bring my hands in. I want him to come right here. Okay. And the reason I want him here is when he does see a cat, his focus has to be with us at least for a little bit instead of us giving him a treat here or here and he sees the cat and maybe off leash continues to go. Let's go. Another thing I don't know if you just noticed, I pulled a treat out of my pocket. I'm gonna be giving him a treat here in just a second. It's gonna be for the recall command, I think. But uh, I wanted it here. I want his focus to try to be on me as much as possible. When we give treats at home, always try to get your pup to look at you. In fact, a good little thing that you can be doing to help create that focus is have treats in your hand here and there. If he looks at you, just tell him good boy and reach down and give him that treat. And what are you gonna do with the treat? You're gonna pet him and love him and have that positive emotion. Let's go. So one of the commands that our dogs seem to like here is the places. Get on the bed, lay down, sit down, stand up. I don't care what he does as long as he stays on the bed. So I'm not gonna give him another command on that bed except for play. He can easily do this for a couple of hours now, okay? He's comfortable, we're comfortable. If he got off in the beginning when we have a leash on him, we would tap him right back. No, no, no place. And we'd go right back to what we were doing, okay? This is a wonderful way for your dog to be a part of your life, especially a high energy dog, that uh, when you come in from work or what have you, and you want to relax, you put him in the place, guess what? You're still the leader. That right there doesn't bother me. You remember on the down stay, uh, I talked about how you could smell the ground around him. I don't really have a problem with that. Let's go. But now we're gonna start moving again. So we're back to let's go. Sit. Good. So now we sit, remember sit. He holds the sit, down he holds the down. We don't have to be beside him all the time, okay? Good boy. So there's a little bit of a praise to let him know. Good. So now I'm getting ready to do the COME command, okay? This is on leash. We need to practice it on leash, get it right, and then we start working off leash. <sighs> Good. He came right to me, hand signals here. He's looking, he wants to see the treat, but he keeps looking at me because he knows he's not going to get it. Atta boy, break. Good boy. Yes, sir. Good. So we practice that on leash as well. Now, I like a dog to sit with me, at least on the come on leash. So if he was to come to me and didn't sit, it would be a tap, no sit. And guess what? I wouldn't give him a treat unless we're learning. If he's learning, I might give him a treat because he got part of it right and then start tightening it up a little bit, structuring it the way we want. If he was off leash, then what I would do is I would have a toy if your dog is toy motivated. Treats in the beginning are great. But this recall off leash is so, so, so important, okay? He's gonna be out running. If he's got a fenced in backyard or you can even go to a tennis court or someplace, a dog park, although I don't like dog parks, 
uh, be a great place to work with him. You get him out there, he's running around. His name is Finley. So I've got a treat loaded up. I could even have a couple of them if I wanted to. I only got one. I would do this. What? Finley, hey, hey, come. When did I tell him? Ah, boy, great. When did I tell him to come? I did not tell him to come. Butterfly, he likes butterflies too. Uh, I did not tell him to come till he committed to coming to me, okay? If he'd have been out there, I'd have said Finley, and uh, he ignored me, I didn't lose the command. But if he'd have been out there and I told him come and he ignored me, what happened? He just learns that he doesn't have to obey me and that word doesn't mean a thing to him, okay? Let's go. So now, I saw that coming. We teach a load up command to load up in cars and everything. When you go back and watch this video, I was walking over there, he saw that tree stump and he thought he was getting ready to jump. Whenever your dog starts trying to predict a command before you ask, make a mental note of it and avoid it and come back later. Let's go. So we're gonna walk by it again. Ah, boy, good boy. Now, load up. That a boy, good boy. Great. Good job. What a jump. That was a very nice jump. So you can tell he's a happy guy. He's got a lot of energy. He does everything we ask him to do. The last command, <coughs> excuse me, is the heel command. The heel command is a lot like a much tighter let's go. I very rarely use the heel command unless uh, I'm demonstrating or what have you, but some people like to have it, so I like to use it. Heel command is, I'll give a hand signal such as this, he's to walk right here by my side, and when I stop, he sits. The thing about the heel is, is when you turn or when you stop, his focus needs to be on you, and you need to be aware of it, so that, say he was in a heel, I don't stop in the middle of a turn, because there's no way when he's coming that he can get right where we need him to be. So here we go, heel. So we start off, we come forward, he stops, good boy. I step off, he holds that sit, because at the end of the hill he sits. Good boy, yes sir. And when he looks at you, you gotta praise him, okay? That's so, so important. Heel, hand signal like this. So notice I turn, watch when I step off. He comes right back to the side, good. We stop again, he sits. So you saw I turned this way inside. Heel, this is a little harder for a dog because he's got more room to catch up. But notice, right, that I did not stop the heel in the middle of the turn. I always came out and straightened it. It gives him a chance to see where we are and make it happen. So now here's a stupid one. I'm gonna give him a treat because he's been such a good boy. You know, if you ever have any questions, you gotta give me a call. I'm here for you, I'm here for anyone out there. I'll be happy to uh, provide whatever help I can. Dogs have been a true blessing in our lives and I'm so fortunate to have this guy around, okay? So watch what I'm gonna do. Great, and a boy. Now, good boy, good boy. Now, see, he wants to work. He still gets focused, uh, unfocused by life or loses his focus but he wants to work. He wants to do these things. Why? Because he's bonding with the owner, okay? And that's what we need. Remember, call me if you have a question. Uh, Jim Hodges, jimhodgesdogtraining.com, 336-945-3232. Thank you so much and God bless.